I am Anil Kumar. We are discussing limits of trigonometric functions. Here I have taken up three examples where direct substitution may give you the result. In most of the cases, that may not be the case. So let us see how to find limit of these trigonometric functions. So we have three questions here. The first one is limit when theta approaches zero for sine of cosine theta. The next one is limit when theta approaches zero cos of sine theta. And the last one here is limit theta approaches zero tan cos theta divided by secant theta. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the very first one, which is limit when theta approaches zero for sine of cos theta. I could write this as limit theta approaches zero. So if I substitute zero here, what do I get? I get sine. And if I write zero here, I get cos of zero, right? You see that? Now cos zero is one. So I could write this as, so when I substitute it, I don't have to write limit theta approaches zero. I substitute theta as zero and then rewrite the given limit. So we have sine cos of zero, that means sine and cos of zero, cos zero is one. So we get sine one as our answer. So the answer is sine one, right? Now remember theta is in radians. So this is one is in radians, right? Okay, so remember theta in radians. So whenever we are trying to find limits for trigonometric function, always uh, the given angle will be in radians, right? Okay, so you can follow the same process and do the next one. Let's do it. So I'll again substitute zero for theta. So I'll get this limit as equals to cos of sine zero. Now what is sine zero? Sine zero is zero, so we get cos of zero. And cos zero is one, and therefore this limit is equals to one, right? So, so the answer for the first one is equals to sine one. And here this is equals to one. And let's do the last one here. Again, we'll substitute theta equals to zero. So if I do that, what do I get? I get tan cos of zero, right? Divided by secant zero. Now we get tan cos of zero is one. Secant zero is also one, right? So we get one. So what we get here is tan one. So tan one is the answer for part C. So this limit is equal to tan 1. So that is how you can find limit of these functions uh, using direct substitution. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.